Hello everyone, it's me, Anthony Coach, a guitarist on YouTube. I don't have a guitar in my hands today. Uh, that's right, because I'm just going to do some talking. There'll be a video of me playing uh, in a minute. There's no anal analysing of uh, famous players and there's no guitar techniques or exercises. This one's just... Uh, this was an important video for me to make because I want to show uh, this. In a minute, you're going to see a video and this video is, uh, you know, sometimes I'll set up my phone and when I've done a practice session, I'll, I'll film what I was doing that day. And it's not for the YouTube channel, it's not really to be shared, but I'm going to share this one today because <laughs> after I filmed this video, I just got really down, really down about my playing and thought that recently my playing has been really, really bad. And there's only one reason for this. I'll get onto it in a second. Let's let's have a quick look at this video. So this is me just working on. Uh, it's a song. It's actually here. So this is a song. I'm, uh, I'm trying to expand my vocabulary as a musician. So I took it upon myself to study this, which I usually do on the piano. This is the real book, but I did it on guitar, and I've taken this composition, "Yes and No" by Wayne Shorter. And the reason being, because it's completely out of my comfort zone on guitar, uh, and to try and make it modernised shred, with varying degrees of success. <laughs> You know, with the, uh, what's the word, like, um, disjointed rhythms, um, following the bass drum, all that modern stuff. But the harmony, I was just experimenting, the harmony is still this track, Yes and No by Wayne Shorter. The original is complete jazz, bebop jazz. So I, I, I've been working on this and, and I just couldn't get it. And you can see me in this video, I, I, I don't really, I'm not the kind of person who wears my art on my sleeve, so... I don't look that annoyed in the video, but there's some moments where you can see it. Uh, in fact, my favourite bit of this video when I watch it back is where I get so angry, uh, frustrated playing one the first note wrong and immediately stop the backing track. <laughs> that, that note was not the note I wanted. And I'm just getting frustrated trying to, to make something work. And, and after this video finished, I got really down about my playing over the last few weeks. J just my own personal playing and playing that's been in my videos. And there's only one reason why it is, and it's because I've been working on my playing, practicing a lot. And, and practicing, I've, I've subscribed to a magazine. You know, I, I, the, <laughs> I've never subscribed to a magazine before. I buy this magazine occasionally, but now I've subscribed to it and it comes every month and I've been pushing myself to, to learn, just pushing myself to learn. I'm not, I'm not going to bore you with the details, but extensive stuff on my own playing, the details, techniques, and mainly concepts and theories and, and approaches. And, 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 and it just reminds me of this one thing, this this thing that I always tell people, and I've not made it up, it's one of these cliches that people use all the time when they talk about practice, is if you sound too good, then you're not practicing. If you sound too good, then you're not practicing. So when I listen to myself, 
playing on this song, Yes and No, I have to remember that. And it's quite a... I think it's quite a big thing, mentally, to to remember that, that that you're practicing. You, it's, it's quite a mental load to take on. Really, if you're going to practice and, and, uh, and really drill something for weeks, weeks, months, years even, maybe not quite years, but, but if you're working on something, a little box of theory or something, it can have a negative impact on your mood when it comes to playing. And, and, and it shifts the way you think and perceive your own playing. Because you're, you're out of your depth, you're looking at new territory, you've not mastered it yet, it's not under your fingers. So you constantly feel like you're, you're, you're trying to swim, what is it, the, your head's underwater, you're trying to keep afloat, whatever metaphor you want to use. So I just wonder if anyone else goes through this when they're practicing. It's very easy for me as a teacher to say things like, work on this, if you sound too good, then work on it some more until you don't sound good and, and do it and I'll see you again in, in two weeks. That's very easy for me to say, but I got a definite taste of my own medicine. Just for the last two or three weeks, I've just been feeling a little bit down, thinking, oh, my, this, my plane is awful. And I have to remind myself that my plane is not awful. I'm improving, but I'm having to sound awful while I'm improving. In the long run, it's going to take me further than I am. But it's tough, it's, it's tough on me and us as guitarists to accept that, that in order to get better, you have to take a little bit of a negative mood on for a while. People are different and, and, and times are different. Of course, I'm not saying that this happens every time I practice. It's just that this video and, and my mood after filming this video I just realised I'm actually wearing the same shirt as when I did the video. <laughs> this was this was about two or three days ago. But when I look at this video, I have to remember that that I am improving. I am getting better. It's hard for me to see that because I'm me and I'm always me in the moment, practicing, pushing, slowly. But it, it I, I am getting better, uh, and I suppose. The point of this video is a reminder for anyone who ever feels that way. I'm, I have no ego, or I try and downplay my ego to, to where it's non-existent. So let me say this, bear that in mind while I say the, the following. I think that it's important for teachers who, let's be honest, they're expected to have a certain degree of competence with whatever they teach. I think it's important for teachers to let people know that the road to success isn't like this. It, it, it's like this, and it's all dips and, and all this. And and I've I've gone. I'm going through a one of these. <laughs> uh, I know it's going up this. Uh, you know, if you zoom out of the graph, it, it is doing this. But when you zoom right in, I'm currently on one of these, and it's not fun. But you have to push through, and more importantly, you have to remind yourself that zoom out it is doing this it you are improving it's funny because I, I i knew yesterday that i was going to talk about this today and it's almost as if uh fate knew this because i woke up it's like i was good this video was going to be a bit more of a donor but i actually woke up to a youtube comment a random youtube comment that well <clears throat> Let me just read it to you. This is just on one of my shorts. You might have seen my shorts where I just, I mean, they're, they're just brief. The playing on them is so brief and fleeting. I put a bit of thought into the playing. <clears throat> but I've got this comment today from Louis66. And it says, You've improved a lot since I last saw you two or three years ago. You, you were decent then, but you still had a not quite mastered it overall vibe to your shred. I mean, you did some great stuff, but you didn't quite seem like Jedi Master yet. Well, thank you very much, uh, if, you, if you get where I'm coming from. 
Uh, whereas now, you seem like the Jedi Master. All of your techniques of old picking and some on the back of the neck and shredding with several ideas at once are converging at once effortlessly, making your shred look and sound masterful. I don't think Louis66 will know how I took that comment and it came at just the right time. Uh, and it, it, it just, it's, it's, it's tinted this video with a little bit of hope. <laughs> it's just too easy to be so down on myself. And it, it I, even though I knew that my playing isn't really, it, it, it's terrible in my perception now, that to zoom out, to be Louis 66, or, or me even when I take a backward step and look at the whole picture, that I know that I am improving. And I know that two to three years down the line, I'll be what's even better than Jedi Master. <laughs> I, I don't think I'm a Jedi Master. It was very kind of Louis to say that, anyway. Uh, I don't know. Take from this video what you will. I don't know how much of this I'm going to trim down. More shred stuff, though, and analysis videos coming on, uh, coming up later uh, as the days go on. That's my main thing. But I think it was important for me to talk about this, even if 10 people watch this video. Hopefully one or two of you will take something away from it. Don't be too hard on yourself. Accept that it's a tough road and sometimes you are gonna think your playing is terrible, but always take that backward step and look at the bigger picture. I can pretty much guarantee that you're getting better. Okay. I don't really like the videos where I just talk and don't play or I don't feel the offer that much. Hopefully this one did. More shred stuff coming on. Uh, coming up. I keep saying coming on. Coming up in the future. Thanks very much. I'm off to go and keep practicing this now. Feeling a little bit more positive having shared this. See you in the next video.